It was the most virulent, deadly viral outbreak the world had ever seen. When the affliction began to finally relent, two-thirds of the planet's population, 4.2 billion people, were gone. For those left after, the new epidemic was one of moral degradation, survival by any and all means, a pandemic of the inhumane. But small patches of hope sprouted from the fallow ashes of what once was. And for some, our humanity remained the only thing worth fighting for. And so far we haven't seen them south of us, but we know they're getting closer. We've seen them as far as Hawthorne, and they've all but taken downtown. They followed us through Clackamas. They've probably started posting guards all up and down 82nd. They're closing the circle. Exactly. We need to come up with something to keep them back. We won't survive a sustained siege. We've barely got enough food to last us a month as it is, and we definitely don't have enough people to watch the entire wall. All they have to do is pick the right spot and hit it with a truck or something, and they'll be inside. If that happens, we're done. We've got nothing to fight them with, and we won't be able to get everyone out with just the three trucks we have left. Two. Two? Unless you know where I can find a suitable fan belt and an alternator? Two. What about that idea to get supplies from a military base? Is that still an option? Mm. We could just start moving people down to Oregon City. Just let the crowns have the city. That's not the worst idea. I ain't running. We're building something really great here, and I don't want to abandon it. We should blitz. (laughs) My dude, I love the spirit, but that's a pretty stupid idea. No, no, it's not. Think about it. They never see it coming. Look, their defense is broken. They're spread out all over the map because they don't think we'd be stupid enough to attack Swan Island head on. They're vulnerable. That could work. Are you both completely out your mind? It's suicide. Look, I didn't say it would be easy. Try impossible. Matt, we have no idea how many people are there or where they've got their guards posted. When we tried to go looking for our people, we were caught within 10 minutes. Remember? And I'll say it again. We've got nothing to fight with. You want to attack them head on with a dozen people armed with hunting bows? You're out of your mind, Cohen. We wouldn't even know where or when to hit them. Look, I get it, okay? It's risky. But just stop and think about it for a minute. When we first went up to Swan Island, they were all concentrated there. And yeah, They outnumbered us by quite a lot, but since they've started engaging us, they've been spreading out further and further. Look at how many pins are on the map. And look at the map here. They've left a clear path right into the heart of their territory. We also know they've got loads of people that they've taken from all over to put to work. They made our army for us. All we gotta do is free them, and I guarantee you, They'll fight with us. All we have to do is take their weapon storage and boom, instant army. We'd have the element of surprise for sure. Especially if we take this. Exactly. Exactly what I was thinking. The Willamette? The Navy ships on the Willamette. If we take those ships, we could use the cannons against the crowns the same way they used them on us, except we'd be more effective. I'd bet good money we could take those ships with minimum force. I agree, but we'll need to do a little recon before. We don't know how many people they have on board. I think we're going to need a lot of recon if we have any hope of pulling this off. We need to know everything about Swan Island, troop movements, critical targets, VIP locations. We can't afford to miss anything. It'd be great if we could get someone on the inside. Someone who could map it all out for us. I think we might already have someone who'd be able to pull that off. Who? Oh, no, no, Fox, no. That, it, it's way too dangerous. Buddy, I agree. It's probably the most dangerous thing we'd ever have to ask anyone to do. But there's also no one who has more experience blending in and observing. 
She survived a long time under Stencil's nose and never drew attention to herself. She's the best shot we've got if we want to pull this off. This this isn't even in the same ballpark as that. She was just trying to survive Stencil. We'd be sending her on a suicide mission, Jake. Do you have a better idea? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... Look, I'm not going to force her to do it. This has to be her choice. If she says no, then we'll find another option. In the meantime, Casey, Wheeler, how do you guys feel about heading downtown and taking a little look around? The sooner we know what's going on on those ships, the better. Are you both out of y'all's damn minds? That is the stupidest ass idea I have ever heard. You can't seriously be considering this, Jake. This seems like a really bad idea. I'm inclined to agree here. How could we possibly pull off an attack like that? The same way they did. Except, we'll do it better. What does that even mean? Okay, look, it's really very simple. The Crowns have been chasing us all over the city, trying to find out where we've set up camp. And after all this time, they've left themselves completely open to a full frontal attack. They're so overconfident that this would be the last thing they'd expect. And because they're spread so thin, it gives us the perfect opportunity to hit them hard and hit them fast. But we need to start preparing now. This isn't something that we can just load up people and go do tomorrow. It's going to take time and very detailed planning. In fact, this could be our first step right here. Come! Hey, Casey said you were looking for me? Come in, Shauna. Uh, Thanks for coming so quickly. We need your help with something kind of big. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. What's going on? Just... Know that you can say no, and I encourage you to just say no. Matt. It's too risky. She won't have anyone there to watch her back, and we won't be able to pull her out. I know you're worried, buddy, but she can do this. Can somebody please explain to me what this is all about? We came up with a potential plan that could end hostilities with the crowns for good. That's amazing, but how would we do that? From what I've seen, they don't seem like the type of people open to negotiations. That's why we're going to attack them. Okay, that seems like a stupid idea. Hallelujah. That's what we said. Hang on. Now, I'm not totally convinced that this is a good idea, but it does have some merit. I mean, if the crowns really are as vulnerable as they say, then maybe a surprise attack could work. But, like, my question is, how do we do that? We don't have a lot of people, and last time I checked, we were pretty well dry in regards to ammunition, right? Yes, on both counts. We don't have enough people to pull this off, but the crowns do. I'm not following. (sighs) We know they've got a ton of people basically enslaved, doing all sorts of work up there. And they've got loads of weapons and ammo. You're assuming they have all that? Let's call it a half assumption. We've seen them with military-level weaponry, and they don't seem to be short on ammo given how much they waste trying to take us down. Which brings us to why we need Shauna. In order to plan an attack like this, we need to know the layout of their base of operations. And to get that, we need someone there on the ground. Someone who'd be able to move about and get the lay of the land, scout for primary targets. Someone who'd be able to reach out to their prisoners and see if they'd fight with us. And you want me to do it? Actually, I I do not. Uh, I think it's a terrible idea, and we need to think of something else. I agree. This sounds really dangerous. Not really. I mean, I don't think it would be too hard to get in and scout things out. I can totally do it. It isn't a question of what you can and can't do, Shauna. These guys aren't like Stencil's people. They are cold-blooded killers. They're the worst of the worst of the worst. Don't take my word for it, okay? Ask Kate. 
she'll tell you what they're like. He's not exaggerating, sweetie. These people are really bad. The things I've seen them do, it's its unspeakable. I'm not going to lie to you here, Shauna. It's going to be extremely dangerous. And if something happens, we won't be able to help. You'll be on your own for the most part. If I were to do this, how would I get you what you needed? We'd have Casey hidden, but close by. You'd have to arrange to meet with her to relay anything you learn. But like I said, if you get in trouble, she won't be able to get you out. It's, it's really important you understand that. I also want to be clear that this is your choice. If you're unsure or you don't think you can do this, just say so and we'll figure something else out. But the truth is, is that you're uniquely qualified for this and I have every faith that you'll be able to pull it off. What do you guys think? Personally, I think those boys have lost their minds. However, I know how precarious our situation is. While I don't know you that well, Shauna, I do know that you managed to survive a pretty horrible situation in Oregon City. And as loath as I am to admit it, I trust Mr. Fox. If he says you can do this, then I believe him. Uh, I really, really don't like the idea of anyone putting their life at risk like this. I mean, especially if we can't help them out if things go bad. On the other hand, if it means we can end this stupid war once and for all, I gotta say, it feels like it might be worth it. Are we sure there isn't a better option, Jake? Not if we wanna stop the crowns quickly. The longer we wait, the closer they get. Kate? Shauna, I... I think what you managed to do is amazing. Hiding all that time in plain sight the way you did was nothing short of miraculous. But this is very different. Down there, all you had to do was do your chores and not speak out. This isn't going to be like that. These people, they are truly sick. They encourage cruelty. I know. I fought them too, remember? No. No, you haven't. You haven't even seen them. That thing in Clackamas, that was nothing. We were lucky that we were able to out-talk them. That's it. Huxley could have called my bluff and his people could have eaten us alive. We're extreme. We were extremely lucky that day, Shauna. He's right. You've never actually seen them at your worst. If you do this, you will. And I am terrified of what that could mean. How long would I have to be there? That really depends on you. We have almost no intel on Swan Island. We need to know how many of them are still there, how many prisoners they have, where do they keep their weapons. We need to know everything, even how often they use the bathroom. The more info we have, the better we can plan our attack. But how long would that take? How long would it take one of you two? A place that big? I I would guess it would take two to three weeks. Oh, I'd miss your wedding. Yeah, see? All the more reason for you to say no. We can forget the whole thing and find another solution. Somehow I doubt it. What? If you really could have come up with something better, then I wouldn't be here. Let's be honest, we're getting desperate. And I'm not sure that I like the idea of going in there and hanging out for two or three weeks alone with a bunch of psychos. But this is my home now. And you guys mean the world to me, so... If this is how I can help, then I'm in. Can we have the room? Of course. Matt. It's okay, babe. I just want to talk to her alone for a minute. Okay, I'll be outside if you need me. All right. I need you to listen and listen good. I. If you're about to tell me that this isn't going to be like the farm, I've got it. No, you don't. You have no idea how bad this is going to be. These people make the unseen look like a church choir, okay? I just need you to... Okay, look. We had to go there because some of our people went missing. When we made our escape, Kate got separated from us and ended up hiding in their leader's special room. I found her a bit later, and what I saw was nothing short of a nightmare. He had a woman 
chained to a bed and had been skinning her alive. Oh my God. I was only in there a few seconds, but it still haunts me. It was worse than anything I ever saw overseas, and Kate saw worse. If you go up there and they discover you're not one of them, if anything happened to you, I don't know what I would- Matt, I sincerely appreciate you wanting to look out for me. Well, I sort of feel responsible for- But you're not my father. That's not what I was- <sighs> Shauna, I'm just trying to protect you. The same way I'd try for anyone else here. I've never seen you flip out when Wheeler volunteers to go looking for supplies or when Casey needs to find truck parts or when anyone else leaves to find things we need. Well, I... I just want... Matt, I am a grown woman who is fully capable of taking care of myself. You've all made it very clear what could happen if I got caught, and I'm still choosing to go. You've given me a home, and all of you have welcomed me like I was family. To me, that's worth fighting for. Even, even if I don't make it back, if I'm able to get you just a fraction of what you need and you can stop those monsters from hurting anyone else, then it's worth it to me. Shauna, I I'm not going to stand here and pretend that I'm not freaking out. I'm freaking terrified of what could happen. But I also believe that I can do this. I meant what I said. I really do appreciate everything you've done for me. And honestly, I like the fact that you want to watch out for me. It makes me feel like I've got a big brother who's a total badass and would do anything to protect me. But that's not what I need. Right now, I need you to trust me the way I trust you. This is my home now. And this is how I can protect it. It's how I can protect you. So let me do this. Are you finished? Are you? <sighs> okay. I've got to tell you, I've never met anyone as stubborn as you, except for maybe Fox. But, I think if I were in your place, I'd probably feel the same way as you do. There is nothing I wouldn't do for the people I care about. I also know when I'm beating my head against a wall and trying to talk you out of this feels exactly like that. Pretty much. All right. But I need you to promise me that you are going to be extremely careful. Don't be stupid or take any unnecessary risks. You keep as low a profile as possible, and you report to Casey every day. Understood? Absolutely. I mean it, Shauna. If I even get an inkling that things are going south, I don't care what Fox says. I will burn that place to the ground to get you out. Even if it means pissing off Kate and skipping out on my own wedding day to do it. <laughs> then I swear I will do everything in my power to prevent that from happening. I wouldn't ever want to make Kate angry. Well, that's always a smart move. So I guess this makes me like a spy or something, right? Oh, do I get some cool gadgets? Oh, how about a code name? Something really cool like Lady Viper or Shadow Fox or, or what's that chick's name from the Marvel movies? The, the spy lady? Black Widow? Oh yeah, just, just call me Black Widow. I am not calling you Black Widow, ever. Come on. I can use your code name too. What code name? Mr. Stuffies. Are you kid Kate? I swear I am going to do something horrible to her. Actually, Casey told me about that. Of course she did. Hey, buddy. You're a hard man to find. That's, uh, sort of the point of hiding. You know, there are better places. Personally, I like enclosed dark places. Yeah, <laughs> I'm aware. What's on your mind? You, actually. 
I wanted to clear the air between us over this Shauna thing. There's nothing to talk about, okay? We're good. No, I don't think we are. I know that you probably think I don't care about her safety. Fox, I know you care. I know that if you had another option, you never would have suggested sending her. I also know that you're right. And that we don't really have any other option. I just wish it didn't have to be her. You mind if I ask, why are you so protective of her? I've never seen you like this with someone before. Not even Kate, which is a little odd. Why Shauna? She reminds me of my cousin. Which one? Charlotte. I don't think I remember Charlotte. (laughs) Well, (laughs) yeah, you wouldn't. Um, You never met her. She moved to Iowa a few months before you moved in. But before that, we were super close. She was a few years younger than me, but she was like my best friend. Wait, do you mean Charlie? Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, I think I remember you talking about her. Wasn't she the one who, um... Yeah, she had a bad lisp and had trouble talking. Right. She got picked on a lot by the other kids. And every time some other kid made her cry, it got me so angry. And then I'd have to show the idiot some manners. My mom would always get so mad when she'd have to come get me from school for fighting. But, uh... But my dad never seemed that upset. Because he probably knew why you were fighting. Probably. Anyway, Shauna sort of reminds me of Charlie, and and I don't know. I, I just feel like I need to watch out for her, even though I know she can handle herself. It's the same instinct I've always had about you, you know? Listen, Matt, I've always admired your selflessness in wanting to look out for people, especially me. I know I don't say it often, but your family and knowing that you've got my back, it makes me feel braver than I have any right to feel a lot of times. But you've also always given me room to stretch out, you know, find my own limitations. This is the same thing. Shauna needs to find her own limitations. I know. You're right. But I still feel... Like you've got to be there when she falls. Something like that. Have you talked to Shauna about this? I mean, maybe if she understood where you were coming from, she might... No, 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 no. No, it's... It's better right now if I keep my mouth shut. The fact is that you're right... And she's the only one that can do this. If she thinks that we doubt that she can pull this off, then she might start doubting herself. And that's when the bad things happen. I have to believe that everything's going to work out. It will. Brother, I really miss your pessimism sometimes. (laughs) Sorry. What makes you so sure that it's all going to work out for us? Look, if I've learned anything from this miserable existence that we call life, it's this. People, they come and go from our lives. Most people are in and out in a flash, but the ones who stick around, the ones we build those connections with, those are the people that matter. Those are the ones that we live for. Yeah, I look around at the family that we've built since the collapse, and I know that these are the people that are going to be around for a long time. And Shauna... Brother, she's as strong as they come, even if she doesn't see it just yet. And maybe it was there all along, or maybe she's learned it from her big brother. That's... That's really deep. Are you okay? Do you do you need to lie down? Not gonna lie, it tasted kind of bitter saying all that. Like I ate something really nasty, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Jake. You never have to thank me, brother. This is what we do. We always will. Now, 
why don't we head down and you can give Black Widow some last minute advice before she heads out with Casey in the morning. Oh, man. Don't call her that. She doesn't need to be getting an inflated ego on top of everything else. Hey, Casey, you guys about ready? Are you kidding? This is going to be the best vacation ever. Just don't get too relaxed, okay? Well, you wouldn't let me take any of the booze, so how relaxed can I get? Hey, head on a swivel. I got this. Don't worry. I never worry about you. Listen, everything I said about what you need to do if Sean is caught, forget it. If anything happens, you break radio silence immediately and call me. I will be up there as quick as I can, and we will burn that place to the ground to get her back. We clear? Crystal. Good. Be safe. Mmm, safe adjacent? (laughs) Good enough. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Fox. Any last minute instructions? Just to remind you to check in with Casey every day. The more info you get, the better we all do. And I wanted to give you this. It wouldn't feel right sending you into that hellhole without some kind of protection, so I want you to take this. It's a 1911 Colt my stepfather owned. He was a right bastard, but he knew his weapons. You keep this close at all times. Maybe you won't have to use it, but just in case. I loaded it with hollow points. I would have been fine with a necklace or earrings. You just watch your back up there, Black Widow. (laughs) Thanks. I'll do my best. We'll see each other soon. So it's not too late to change your mind about this. I'm going to be fine. I've got Casey watching out for me. And look, Fox gave me this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Why don't we put that away? Sorry. Just remember to keep your head down. Don't do anything to draw attention. I know. And I also know that if anything happens, my new big brother will come swooping in like a superhero to save me. You bet your ass I will. You've got enough to worry about without me adding to it. You just focus on your wedding, and when I get back, I get one dance with the groom. Oh, before I forget, here. What's this? It's a wedding gift. You can't open it until you and Kate are officially married. You didn't have to. I know. Let's get moving, Black Widow. God, I love that code name. Makes me feel like such a badass. I'm still not going to call you that. Be careful. I will. I'll see you soon. Miss Nicole! Are you in here? I don't know why you can't just bring it up to the boys. I'm sure they'll listen. Their plan's already in motion. It may be too late to put everything on hold. Hey, what's going on? Who's hurt? Everyone's fine. Are you aware of Mr. Fox and Mr. Cohen's plan to attack Swan Island? Yeah, I was actually just taking stock of everything in case things didn't go as well as they think. Something like that is bound to bring in a lot of wounded. I just want to be prepared. If we don't help them, we may not need bandages. We may need coffins. That's a bit grim, don't you think? Jamie, I know that those boys have seen a lot of conflict. And I know that they believe that this little surprise attack they're planning will end this little war. But I told you before that there is a great big hole in their plan. And you also said that you have a way to make their plan work. But you haven't said what it is. I don't like keeping secrets from Jake, and I mean, I just... (sighs) Has he ever kept things from you? Has he ever lied in order to protect you? Don't they all do that? Isn't it like in their DNA or something? Exactly. We're just doing the same thing they would. Let them focus on their big picture while we prepare to help them in our way. Now, Miss Nicole, I was given to understand that you had an army of sorts while you were holed up at the airport. Is that correct? No, absolutely not. We are not sending children to fight. Of course not, Jamie. Do you really think I'd be so stupid as to send kids to fight a war? I'm insulted. Well, then why did you ask about 
about them because I don't know anything about battle tactics and I can't ask Mr. Cohen or Mr. Fox without arousing their suspicion. And Miss Casey has just left. So that leaves Miss Nicole's little friends. As I understand it, they held off the crowns for quite some time. About seven months. Just what is it you're planning? Let's call it a diversion. Something that will hopefully keep the crowns occupied long enough to give our team the time it needs to succeed. And if we're very lucky, maybe a little revenge to top it all off. So what do you say? Will you help me? Homestead, Episode 7, We Can Blitz. Written, directed, and produced by James Robinson. Story by James Robinson, Travis Box, and Danny Hedham. Music by me, you. This episode starred Travis Box as Cohen, Brittany Jones as Shauna, Summer Shore as Kate, Rebecca Gurney as Jamie, James Robinson as Fox, Danny Hedham as Wheeler, Crystal Thornton as Mary, Samantha Stark as Nicole, Justin Mansfield as Alan, and CJ Sumner as Casey. Homestead is a Not Another Podcast production.